Okay, time for my second game of the day. This one is by Remington Chaos, another Bagel Top member. Thank you for being a member, Bagel uh, Bagel Top. That's me. Thank you for being a member, Remington. I, I, I got so, <laughs> I got so flustered by the last one, um, that uh, I'm gonna leave this in. I'm not gonna edit this out. You get, you get, you get the real experience here. Thank you to myself and Remington Chase. Here is the setup. It is a never-ending story by Remington Chase. Oh boy, the odds are stacked against you. No matter how many times you hit the mastermind, they just won't stay down. Even worse, there are more of them by the minute. You'll need the help of every sidekick, pet, and upcoming hero to stand a chance. Special rules, epic bastion as the drained mastermind, which means symbiotic absorption, and add a random sidekick to each starting deck. So here is the setup, and I will put the predictions up real quick. You'll have five minutes to put your prediction in after you see this thing here it is all right ah, that's close enough we know what to do all right so it is mysterio's symbiotic absorption of and it doesn't say it here but it's epic bastion the randomizer won't let me do epics for the drain mastermind so mysterio is symbiotic absorbing epic bastion villains purifiers sinister six deadlands henchmen sentinel squad one and then we have a bunch of sidekick friendly heroes we have captain america secret avenger magic maximus ultimate spider-man and peter parker so two civil war and three secret wars sets with sidekicks in them all right so let me go over the mastermind and scheme this is uploaded so you can take a look at it mastermind well the first mastermind is mysterio and uh we're gonna have to change the number of oh i just dropped everything change the number of strikes often here it is there is mysterio he always leaves sinister six he's in the set they're in the setup this time and Master Strike. Shuffle this Master Strike into Mysterio's face down Mastermind Tactics. That card becomes a Mastermind Tactic worth 6 VP. Okay. The scheme is Symbiotic Absorption. So, 11 twists at a second drained Mastermind and its four tactics out of play. Add its always leads villains as an extra villain group. Done. Twist 1 to 4. Shuffle one of the drained Mastermind's tactics into the main Mastermind's tactics. Twist 8. Uh, 6810 the mastermind uses this twist to copy the master strike ability of the drained mastermind and then twist 11 evil wins special rules if the tactics or master strikes mention the drained mastermind use the main mastermind instead the drained mastermind who's going to get three of his strikes copies and all of his tactics is um hold on Ugh. here we are epic bastion fuse sentinel all sentinel enemies get plus one attack for each master strike in the KO pile, even after Bastion is defeated. Master always leads purifiers in any Sentinel henchman group. Yep, Master Strike, a card from the Bystander stack, ascends to become a four attack prime Sentinel mastermind with fight. Rescue this Master Strike. Each player reveals the top card of their deck and KOs it if it costs one or more. So there is going to be a lot of masterminds in this setup, and all the Sentinel ones get plus one attack. So this is going to be some tricky stuff all right predictions i didn't even show you all right it's halfway done and it looks like it's one to two mostly think i'm gonna lose this one i don't know i'm feeling optimistic about it let me go ahead and place everything so here is mysterio here is the custom not custom epic mysterio that we're not using today let me get his tactics out of here i'm gonna put them underneath him this time because that you know that matters he's gonna get more in there Here's the absorption. We've got, uh, by the way, uh, Bastion's tactics are cool because they're all different Sentinels, so that's why things get weird. Uh, Symbiotic absorption, I'll put that away, and we'll set Bastion off to the side. Starter hand's ready. So what do you think? <laughs> this is going to be... A Will this work if I press this? Oh, yeah, it totally does. Put the setup up on the screen. So it is epic Bastion again. But uh, with the number of sidekicks I can get, it's going to be pretty good. Oh, plus I forgot to do this. Um, I've got uh, the special instructions, which were add a random sidekick to each starting deck. Okay, let's do that. Top two cards of the sidekick stack are Mysteries 1, 2. And we'll shuffle one to the shield deck, one to the Hydra deck. You've got like a minute left to put your predictions in. Minute 13. Starting hand on the left is one two three four five six. Oh, i got lockheed as my starter oh, i guess you couldn't see that uh lockheed there and then shuffle in the mystery sidekick 
and I'll see what I get. And bam, one, two, three. Oh, it's boom, boom. All right, that's a good one. Okay. I'm going to hide that. You got 40 seconds left. So get those predictions in. Last prediction till Tuesday. Just saying. Then I can reveal the HQ. Oh, let me give a courtesy shuffle to all this stuff, too. Does Bastion effect not work since the Master Strikes are under Mysterio and not in the KO pile? So his... um. So, for each master I'm going to kill about. So, um, for other effects like Striker. So, Striker specifically says in the rule sheet that it cares about master strikes in other places, like under Mysterio. But here it doesn't say that. So, if I did, if Remington Chase was here, I would ask him what to do. And maybe he'll come back. But if I do take it literally the Sentinels won't get buffed. But that's okay, because I think the intention with Bastion is just to add Masterminds to make it harder to take down Mysterio. But that is a good question. If I, uh, So I'm going to play it as if they don't count, because it is not Striker. Unless Remington Chase comes in here and says otherwise. So, If anybody wants to at him on Discord and ask him while I'm doing this, uh, feel free, and you might answer it. Because it's uh, whenever it's a viewer challenge, it's whatever the uh, viewer would like me to do. But uh, I probably want to deal with that for a little bit. Oh, hold on, one more thing. Oh, never mind, never mind. Back up. Um, that doesn't. Even, that's why I, I didn't worry about this before. It doesn't happen because this effect never happens because Bastion is not the mastermind, so it wouldn't work anyway. Um, that's why it wasn't a problem before. So the only thing that I get from Bastion is his tactics and the Master Strike. So the effect never happens. He's not in the game. Duh. You made me overthink that, Mr. Giraffe. How dare you? I was doing so well. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so there's the predictions. It's three and three. Even number of people. Because <laughs> uh, I'm like, why didn't that come up when I was looking? Oh, yeah. because uh... Anyway. All right. So 67% uh, lose draw. 33% win. I don't know. I think I have a good shot at this. It's a tough mountain to overcome, but I got a pretty good hero deck. So let's hide that. Let's fill up our HQ. We are starting with Magic, Peter, Cap, Magic, Peter. All right. So obviously I have a great making. Nope. I have the great makings of a two cost Spidey deck with Magic and Cap. And that is 100% what I'm going to go for. On the other side, I'll take everything else. And I think that'll be, that'll be fine. All right, let's do it. Turn number one. Let's go. Okay. Turn number one gives me not a four and two because Lockheed's here. Not a three and three. All right. Turn one is uh, Craven the Hunter. His attack is equal to the number, the cost of the highest cost hero in the HQ, which is only three right now. So I can fight him this turn. Escape. I won't worry about it because we're going to take him out. I'll lose Lockheed, but it's good to take out Craven early this way. Um... Let's play it for attack. Lockheed goes away. And uh, I can take out Craven because he's only three attack. Low cost HQ. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Three recruit. So what does the right to have as far as recruit? I've got one, two, three, three only. Okay, I only have three here. Let's build the um let's build the Spidey deck over here. I'm going to start by taking bold leadership cap. Oh my gosh. Captain America Secret Avenger works so well with Spidey with the, the extra recruit I'm going to get for all the classes and the two cost. Okay, there's Maximus. His first appearances are rare, very on brand for him. This is the one. Four attack, each other player reveals a tech hero or chooses a henchman. Fill in from the victory pile. You defeat all those henchmen for free. Then Cabal. You get plus one attack for each henchman you defeated this turn. And this is interesting. Because the henchmen are Sentinel Squad 1. So I can defeat henchmen. They're, they're, they're weaker, so it's easier to defeat, more, to defeat more of them. So Let's move over. Here we go. Turn 2 
is there we go. they are okay sentinel squad one so i'm not going to make this mistake last time i played i kept trying to have them clone even when there was one in the city i'm not going to do that so the, i'll read this very carefully to lock it into my brain ambush if there are no other sentinel squad ones in the city clone so they're going to clone we'll see if i get lucky with the top i don't was it on the bottom nope so they're going to clone i passed so many but uh they do not clone if there's already one in the city here they come okay i've got two attack <clears throat> i will just for fun oh you know what i was gonna do time bomb to put her back on top but i'm not going to i am just going to there's something funny about my close up viewer i'm just not going to play her right now let's take out a sentinel squad one um, so nothing happens if there's other ones in the city. So this doesn't do anything except get defeated for two. I've got three recruit. Let's make this everything but the two cost cards. So I'm going to go ahead and take a travel through limbo, teleport, ranged, you get plus two attack. And we'll leave Boo Boom on because I need some recruit. All right. I'm going to take as many bold leaderships as I can just to start recruiting the entire hero deck okay twist so absorption is beginning all right shuffle one of the drain masterminds tactics into the main masterminds tactics so one of these really cool sentinel tactics get shuffled into mysterios so he gets one more shuffled in there so now i have to hit him five times so now it's out of six Okay. Wait. Yep, I did that right. Okay, four recruit, two attack. I'll take out this other Sentinel squad. One, which is going to be uh, KO one of your heroes. A shield agent gets KO'd. And put the Sentinel squad on the bottom of the villain deck. Four recruit. Let's keep getting uh, two cost. Let's take... Let's take a Conflicted Loyalty so I get another hero class. And we will take a bold leadership to just get a bunch of recruit. All right. So you can Avengers Assemble is also really good for magic. This cares about, well, not Avengers wise, but sidekick wise for each other sidekick and Avengers hero. So it'll work well with Peter Parker if I decide to take those over there. One. All right. This is going to be a very strong Spidey deck. Um, do any of these cards have KO power? Um, I might have to rely on... I might have to rely on the Sentinel squads to help me get that on the left. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's not that much from Cap. But I'm building. I'm deck building. That's what we do. Turn four is uh, Sandman, who's great for this. He, uh, his attack is twice the number of villains in the city. And he has two attack for that reason, because he is a villain in the city, and one times two is two. But this too much for my uh my turn five recruit let's get secret avengers assemble which is going to ramp up later but i'll get it now one plus one attack for each sidekick and other avengers hero you played this turn all right there's a divided uh this battle star right yep battle star on that one three and three two my favorite um Uh, Sandman? You mean? If you're if you're mentioning Sandman, he's two attack because his attack is twice the number of villains in the city. Yeah, there's one villain in the city that times two. That's two. Okay. Turn five is uh, Shocker. We're getting a lot of Sinister Six up here in the front. Ambush. Each player builds an instant hero or discards a card. I can't do that, and I have nothing to. Oh, I guess I could fight. No, I can't fight Sandman. I was going to be at four, so I'll discard a trooper. Right hand side is going to discard. I'm going to get one, two, three. Three attack, which is not enough to hit anything either. Unless I do time bomb, that's four. And I could hit Sandman. So I'm going to get three recruit. That's going to be enough to take magic, though. Two is not going to give me anything I want. I, I could get a sidekick. Oh, trust me. My brain's getting there. Let's get rid of an operative. I'll get a sidekick because that'll. that'll 
help me too. Oh, yeah, I have no instinct. I didn't check. Yep, no instinct. Okay, so he's at four now. Because I double the number of villains in the city. Um, I've got... Oh, that'll change next turn, though. Okay. One recruit for each hero class I have. I have a single hero class, so it's just one recruit. A color is not a class. Four recruit. Let's keep getting two costs. I'll take Rally the New Mutants to get some... Uh, to get some sidekicks. And... Oh, another one. Let's do another one. And there's... Oh, Ultimate Spider-Man. Oh, this is going to be so much fun here on the left. You know... <laughs> I never thought I'd build a Spidey deck with Magic and uh, Cap, but it's going to work. Turn six. Another villain, and it's Zombie Loki. We got Deadlands showing up. Now things are getting scary. Ambush Riot of the Living Dead. Nothing happens. And if he escapes, he becomes another mastermind. So those are in there just to make it even harder to take down the Mysterio who's all buffed up. Who, who will be. So now Sam ends at six. And... Uh, Guess what I can do with Boom Boom. This is a great combo. Check this out. I can play Boom Boom, Time Bomb, one attack, put it on top of the deck. But I played her to do that. So when I play Secret Avengers Assemble, I get two attack plus one for the sidekick I played, which is Boom Boom. So I actually get two attack from Boom Boom that way. And I'm at five. That's good. That's a cool combo. I will take out Shocker for five. And for two... I will leave the two cost for that side. I'll get a sidekick like I said I was going to do. Hairball. Let's keep going. Moving over. Turn seven is another Sentinel squad. There's one on the bottom of the deck, so there's none in the city. They are going to clone. Very inspired move to make it you put it on the bottom so now you know they're there okay guess what i got two hero classes but i will play yeah i'll play this first two recruit for two classes conflicted loyalties does not activate so three one one two three more recruit puts me up to six and two total attack i'll fight a sentinel squad that won't do anything and then for six recruit i'm going to take leaping spider first because this one Reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs two or less draw, then strength, you get plus two attack, um, which will work great with Cap. Giving me another class for him. That's two. And I will take uh, Conflicted Loyalties, I think, first before I take the other Bold Leadership. And then finally, we're going to take the other Bold Leadership. Okay. I have no more two costs here. So I got to move things along on the right-hand side because I don't want to take any of these on the left. This shuffle should be good. I lied. Out loud to everybody. Turn eight is Zombie Baron Zemo. Zombies are coming in. Ambush doesn't do anything. And then fight for each of your Avengers heroes. Rescue a bystander. So. One two attack I won't play boom boom this time I will take out sentinel squad one I'll play my operatives first though three recruit so okay I want every heroes because there's not no other uh, sentinels in the city put this in the bottom I've got three recruit now I got choices here I get, got a lot of choices so I could take magic here travel through limbo one attack teleport range you get plus two I did take another range teleport card so I'm considering it. I've also got the divided card with Battlestar on it. So Inspire Nation, Inspire Man, gain a sidekick or just two attack. Which would be decent for the other side, but I got the classes anyway. And then Mental Domination Maximus gives me two recruit and then Covert Defeat a Henchman Villain for free. I think I'm going to continue to take some... I could use the recruit. But I'm going to go with the other Travel Through Limbo for now. So I get that to combo with things like boom boom. All right, there's another one. Okay, no, no recruits for the left except for sidekicks. I might. No, nah, I'm not going to run out of sidekicks because I'm going to keep uh, playing them. Five, six. All right, there we go. There's our combo. One of our combos. Turn nine is Vulture, who's going to do the thing he does. 
Uh, after he enters the city, if there's a villain on the rooftops or bridge, swap Vulture with one of those villains. I will happily move Zombie Loki back to the sewers. I don't know how Vulture did that, but he did it. God, that Zombie Loki art is ter terrifying. Uh, four recruit, two attack. Oh, by the way, Sandman's at eight. I don't want to take anything from the HQ. Let's go ahead and get a sidekick. It's going to be Zabu. Okay. Cool. That's a better hand for next time. Plus, I got Zabu to do some KOing. Let's get rid of all my grays. Turn 10 is a scheme twist. So that is another tactic getting shuffled into Mysterio's tactics. He's now got a bunch of... Uh, he's got two Sentinels in there. And now there's seven Mastermind tactics. I have to hit him seven times. Six tactics for now. Haven't seen a single strike yet, oh, but they're coming. All right, we've got... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play these. So travel through limbo, one attack, other travel through limbo, two attack, two more attack, four attack total. I rarely get to use Magic's hero set, so I'm happy when I get to. Five and then six, two recruit. I will fight Zombie Baron Zemo. And unfortunately I won't get a bystander. So he could come back. But I'll take that chance. I did see two zombies. Take him out for six. No Avengers right now, so taking them out. And we'll get a sidekick for two. It's Red Wing. Let's hope that he does not rise from his living dead spot. Moving over. Hello, Rolling. So this one looks good. Got a lot of uh, non gray, two cost. Stuff going on here. And uh, turn 11. With the twist. So one more. I guess the only reason why he's epic bastion is because of the, um, the master strike effect. All right. So one more of these goes in. He's almost got all the sentinels. So now it's out of eight. There we go. Shuffled in. One more last twist is going to um, do the same thing. And then we get some uh, extra sentinels created from Mysterio Bastion. Okay. Let's start with Leaping Spider, actually. Top card of my deck. If it costs two or less, which it will, draw it. Let's go with the Conflicted Loyalties. One attack, one recruit. Doesn't activate. The second one's going to activate, though. One more attack, one more recruit. I don't know why they're reversed. Reveal the top card of your deck if it costs two or less. Draw it. Of course it does. I'll play Bold Leadership, which is going to give me one recruit for each hero class. I got Covert, Tech, and Strike. So I'm up to a five recruit. Then I've got another Bold Leadership. Well, I'll play Rally the New Mutants first. What am I going to do with all this recruit? There's no two cost for me. I gain a Sidekick. And then I gain a second sidekick. Rusty. I'll play the other bold leadership. That's three more recruit. I'm at eight. I'm at ten. All right. So I could take I could take Maximus's rare this turn, which of course could give me trouble because I currently have no cards that just draw except for my sidekicks. It's tempting. It really is tempting. But I have such a solid two-cost deck going on here. Especially once I see more Ultimate Spider-Man. And if I get his rare. Forget about it. Um, each other player that reveals a tech hero choose a henchman. Leave them for free. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. I'm just going to take a sidekick and call it. I got I to gotta stick to my guns here. Yep, I recruit this one. All right. I'm happy with that decision. By the way, Sandman's down to six. Till, you know, maybe next turn. That's gotta, I gotta stick with the plan. Right side's gotta do some recruiting. Gotta unlock some twos. There's still plenty left. Including both uh, Peter Parker and Ultimate Spider-Man's rare. 
Hey, why do you think um, his hero said it's called Ultimate Spider-Man and not Miles Morales? I, 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 it makes sense, but... Turn 12, Sentinel Squad 1. There aren't any in the city. They're going to clone. I guess because he's in this suit the whole time. Okay, that's going to be rough for Sandman. So he is at, uh, for me, Sandman is totally fine. Sandman is doing great. I'm the one who's having a rough time. He is at 10 attack. Okay. Hairball. One attack. Draw a card. Go away, Hairball. Let's go ahead and play Boom Boom. Put her on the top. We'll do Time Bomb again. That's two. Secret Defenders Assemble. Okay, it's been a while. You got to remind me. So I get one for Boom Boom. One for Hairball. Does Hairball count twice because he's a sidekick and an Avenger? Trying to read the, I'm trying to read the uh, context here. You get plus one attack for each sidekick and other Avengers hero. Doesn't say or. And or. Let me know in chat if you have a ruling on that. Or does he not count twice? I don't know the answer. Um, I got one more attack from the soldier, though. So I'm at five at least. I'm at five or six. It could matter. I got to read that again. You get plus one attack for each sidekick and other Avengers hero you played this turn. I think it does count. Well, plus one for each sidekick and other Avengers hero. So I played a sidekick and another Avengers hero, which is the same hero. I got, I, I would count it twice too. Now that I read it a third time, I'm gonna count it twice. It would be worded differently if you weren't supposed to. I think that's the, why it was designed. You know, it's from that set designed to work with the pet Avengers. So I think it's supposed to. All right, all right, I'm counting it. Thank you for your your input, everybody. So now I can cover up that zombie Zemo that almost revived itself. I can take out Vulture and a Sentinel Squad. So I'm going to do that. Take it out Vulture for four. Take it out a Sentinel for two. No KO power. If I want to maximize my KO power, I got to make sure that there's not three Sentinels in the city at a time. For your recruit, do I keep going with magic to get big hands? Yeah, you know what? I do that. If I teleport them all, I can hit Mysterio. So we'll keep going with that. There we go. Spider-Man unmasked. That's a good one for the left-hand side. He can wall crawl sidekicks. How did uh, your games go, uh, Rolling? I know you guys were... Uh, you were doing the tournament setup, right? Or was it something else? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it was the randomizer. That's what it was, because you had that information. How did, you, how did you guys do with the randomizer, if that's what you were playing? Montax did not have a good time. I had an interesting time. Tonight was setup A. Okay, so how did setup A go? Uh, turn 13 is... Uh, oh, very close. I, I covered up Zombie Zemo at just the right moment. Uh, Zombie Madam Hydra, ambush Rise of the Living Dead. Fight KO one of your shield heroes or Hydra allies. Love seeing a card with shield and Hydra on it. Um, okay. Sidekick. Draw two. One, two. I need more hero classes. Let's go with bold leadership. I only have two classes, so that's two recruit. Let's take Spider-Man unmasked right now. <laughs> hey, that's literally what I have in the form for when you put a one. So it literally says I never ever want to play this setup ever again. So it's probably a one from you guys. But you don't you don't enjoy Epic Exodus? Okay, let's gain two sidekicks. Rally the new mutants. It's so funny that she has this card in, is she has this card in uh, Secret Wars, and then later there's new mutant sidekicks, kind of. All right, so I gain a standard sidekick, and I get another one. It is a standard, and then we'll get uh, two recruit for the two hero classes I've got. One more recruit, three, and then one two attack, and then conflicted loyalties, one each attack and recruit. Let's do a KO power. Let's take out the Sentinel Squad. 
I mean, I gave it my best. I really did. But, boy. All right. One attack. Um, I do a KO. And I tuck them to the bottom of the villain deck. Four recruit is going to get me nothing I want because I'm going with the two costs. So I'm going to take, I'm going to recruit a sidekick, which I haven't done yet this turn. What am I left with? All right. If I can keep farming the sentinel squads and get all my grays out of here, I'm going to have a pretty efficient deck. I can just, I can just keep drawing everything. I might even KO some non-grays later down the line. Turn 14, zombie Mr. Sinister. Another ambush rise. Not going to happen. Escape. He becomes a new mastermind where he does bystandery stuff like he does when he's an actual mastermind. Scary Deadlands here. I haven't adjusted Sandman's attack this whole time. I really should have kept doing that. So he's 2, 4, 6, 8 right now. Well, I've got 4 recruit. I could... Uh... I'm going to sacrifice Boom Boom. Although she's so good with the teleport though. I don't want to give her up. She's so good with the uh, wrong die. She's so good with that. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean in. Let's take the other. Travel through limbo. Going for big hands or teleporting. And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna play time bomb just so I get her on the top of my deck so I can keep doing that. And I will end my turn. Let's see. Okay, I got two. All right, cool. So I can get three, six, nine, or ten attack if I want. I should probably hit the mastermind soon. But these zombies are terrifying me. Plus, if I if I land on a uh, bastion tactic, it's not going to cover up a zombie. Turn fifteen gives us a twist. Speaking of bastion tactics, the last one is going into Mysterio's pile. So the very last one is going in there. And now I got to hit the mastermind nine times without having played a single master strike. So I might have to end up hitting the mastermind 14 times, not to mention any extra masterminds from Sentinels or Deadlands. So <laughs> you guys aren't kidding around with these setups. Okay. Sidekick. Let's play it. Draw two. One, two. Let's do a Zabu KO. Zabu KO a card from your hand or discard pile. I got another... Uh, I'm going to KO an agent from my hand, actually. Zabu goes away. Let's uh, Rusty Collins investigate your deck for a card that costs zero. KO it or discard it. Top two cards of my deck. Okay, I got a trooper. I will KO it. And I'll put uh, Conflicted Loyalties back on top. Actually, you know what? I want to play Bold Leadership before I do that because um, it's it's ranged. And I wouldn't have revealed anything to draw. So, um, yeah, Bold Leadership first for two recruits. Then Rusty, I do what I did with him. Then three, four, five. I don't know why I did that. I'm not recruiting anything besides a Spider-Man unmasked. That's two. And then three left. I got another one. There's a Maximus. That's actually pretty good. I would actually love to put the Sentinel squads back in one at a time while they can't clone. So that's an interesting thought. Because that's a lot of KO power for me. Turn 16. is There's our first strike. <laughs> Anybody who knows Mysterio knows what he does here. Shuffle this Master Strike into Mysterio's face on Mastermind Tactics. It becomes a Mastermind Tactic worth 6 VP. So now he's got 9 Tactics. And I gotta hit him 10 times. There we are. No problem. Okay, so what I can do here is I can get up to... Three, I can get up to four actually. Seven, ten, eleven, twelve attack. But I don't want to give up Boom Boom. So I'm just going to play her Time Bomb. One attack. Goes to the top. And then we're going to go ahead and play two, three, four, five, six, seven attack. Eight, nine. Sandman's down to. He's still at eight. 
All right. So I can hit a zombie, but again, the risk is they could always come back. But I'll take that risk because I do not want extra masterminds. Let's hit zombie Loki for, for eight. Um, who doesn't do anything. Except gets defeated. And that's that. I'll leave him at eight for a second because he might go back up. Four, five, six. Moving over. Turn 17. Predator X. All right. Well, I'm glad it's not a zombie, but also cloning is going to happen. Okay. Um, ambush. He comes to the city first. Ambush, prey on the most strength, and then clone. So I've got one strength on the left, no strength on the right. So he's going to go ahead and prey on me. So let's see if I get lucky with the top. Nope. I don't. The first one I see. There we go. Predator X instinct. Same deal, but prey on the most and shuffle the shuffle the pile. Prey on the most instinct and clone. So no instinct on the left, no instinct on the right. So I get to pick. I will split it up. I'm gonna have it prey on the right hand side. I guess what? Um, they're not in the city. So Sandman is actually only at six right now. Let's push him over there. Let's, uh, ooh, I don't really have anything that's going to work off each other. So we'll, we'll take a shot at uh, trying Leaping Spider. Top part of the deck. It's going to be a reshuffle. And let's see if I get to draw something. It is Spider-Man Unmasked. All different classes. Look at that. And no Captain America in sight. Uh, one attack, gained a sidekick. It is Darwin. Then we have a shield trooper. Then we have conflicted loyalties. Oh, two after the trooper. Three attack and one recruit after loyalties. Rally the new mutants gives me a sidekick. Rock slide for shatter purposes. Two more recruit. I'm going to go ahead and hit the predator rex that's preying on me. So take him out for three. Okay. And I'll, get a, I'll recruit a sidekick. There we are. This is a fun setup. I'm enjoying it so far. Moving over. Oh, I got. There's all the cap. So I get. Ca he shows up by himself where I, where I don't need all his classes. Okay. Turn 18 is good. It's not a zombie. Sentinel Squad comes in. Let's see if I get lucky because I shuffled, so the other one won't be on the bottom. Nope, that's a Predator X. No, it was a strike. It was a twist. So. Where? Here we go. Another one comes in. Reshuffle. So I just need three attack to hit this Predator X before he preys on me. I was su honestly surprised to see Prey rank so low amongst the new card mechanics for the last um, six expansions. And I get a lot of people play solo. It's weird to use Prey solo. I get that. Maybe that was the reason. All right. So Sandman's back up to 10. I got a full city. And I got a, a Sinister that might escape. So if I time bomb Boom Boom again, that's a hard thing to say. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Total attack. Which I could use to take out Zombie Mr. Sinister. But I gotta not forget this Predator X. So what I probably want to do is... Get the eight. Hit Zombie Madam Hydra. And then hit the Predator X to cover her up. So let's do that. Time bomb. Put her on top of the deck. One attack. Travel through Limbo. Three more attack. Two, three, four. Let's hit Zombie Madam Hydra right now. Fight KO one of your shield heroes or Hydra allies. Actually, I should play the operative first. Play the operative first. Then I fight Madam Hydra. Then I KO the operative. And I get rid of Zombie Madam Hydra. I will play one attack for the soldier. Secret Avengers Assemble. I get two attack plus one for the sidekick I played. So I'm at uh, four. Oh, yeah, it was very interesting. I I'm not going to spoil how it went, but uh, I know it's late there, so it must be really late right now. Uh, one more recruit. I will take out uh, the Predator Rex so I can cover up. I won't be preyed upon. I will cover up the zombie. How do you think I did? Let me just ask you that. 
I'll get a sidekick for the two recruit I've got. So what I what I couldn't understand, um, I should have asked you this earlier, was the intention that I can't win the game unless my victory piles are empty, or I just get negative points, and if I was comparing to somebody else, it would be negative points. That was not super clear to me. For the prediction, I said if I if I have any victory points at all at the end, it counts as a lose for the prediction, is what I said at the, at the beginning. I didn't know what you intended, but it was fun. Thank you for submitting that one. Three, four, five, six. And I got all these bold leaderships, but everything's covert. So, you know, what are you gonna do? Turn 19. Okay, I'm doing it right this time. Sentinel Squad comes in, but they do not clone because there's already one in the city. I gotta prevent Zombie Mr. Sinister from escaping. I think I can do it. Um, let's start with regular sidekick. That was the intent. Oh, it was it was fun, yeah. Thank you for submitting it, for sure. I'm glad I got that intent right. More grace. Come on, I need more classes. All right, hairball. One more chance. One attack. Draw a card. Well, that's something. It's a regular sidekick. Here we go. One, two. All right, there's some more classes. Um, I played hairball so I can activate uh, magic now. I gained two sidekicks. First one is Ms. Lion, second one is Standard. Um, I'll play Bolt Leadership. Now that I have three hero classes, I get three recruit. And then another Bolt Leadership gives me three more recruit. I'm at six recruit, even though there's nothing I want to recruit this turn. Spider-Man Unmasked, one attack, gain a sidekick. I get another side. I'm getting so many sidekicks. Layla Miller, Conflicted Loyalties, uh, one attack, one recruit. I, really, I like how Remington Chase was here for your setup, and now you're here for Remington's setup, and neither of you are there for your own. I should have played these in the other order. That's why I asked you guys. <laughs> I'm joking. It's totally okay. It's just funny how it works out sometimes. Um, okay. Four total attack, five total attack, and then eight total recruit. All right. Well, I guess um, I didn't quite get enough attack to hit the Sinister, but I'll take out two Sentinel squads. Which will do nothing, just go to my victory pile. Alright. Eight recruit. Again, I'm tempted to get Maximus, but no, I'm sticking to what I was doing. I'm getting closer. Sidekick. Standard. I just have to uncover more on the other side. Right side's got to get some more recruit. I'm going to take that mental domination when I can. Because I need recruit power. Five, six. Moving over. Turn 20 is Leper Queen, who we peeked at earlier. Ambush prey on the most mutants. Finish the prey. That player gains a wound and KOs two Bioscanners from their victory pile. Fight. Shuffle two cards from the Bioscanner stack into the villain deck. So I've got one mutant here on the left, on the right. Left side has none. So, Leper Queen's going to prey on me. I think I'll take out Leper Queen, though. Let's start with the... Uh, let's, let's Red Wing first. Top three cards in my deck. One, two, three. Draw one, put the rest back. Obviously, I'm drawing magic. Put the rest back in any order. Two operatives. So, um, I'll go Time Bomb, Boom Boom. One attack. Travel through Limbo. Up to four. Playing the sidekick to draw Boom Boom again and an operative. I'll time bomb Boom Boom again. Five attack. Six total attack is where I'm at. Leper Queen is getting fought for four. Shuffle two cards in the Bystander stack into the villain deck to offset some of the, uh, the Predator X. So this one's gone for four. Oh, Leper Queen pushed the Sentinel Squad over, by the way. But they're, I'm going to fight them anyway. All right, two bystanders. I don't know if I get to look at them. I'm just not, not going to look at them. I'm going to shuffle them in. Before I fight the Sentinel Squad. And I will get a KO. So I'm going to have to play these operators first. I will do so. Villain deck is shuffled. I'll play all three operatives. And I will uh, fight the Sentinel Squads. 
They go to the bottom of the deck. I KO an operative. Three recruit lets me get any of these. I'm going to go ahead and take mental domination because, again, I need that recruit power. I'm a little short on recruit. I've been loading up on range, which is fun. But I got to get more. And I got to get more two cost things in the HQ for the uh, Spidey side. Ooh, this might be a good turn to teleport. I can time bomb and teleport and just keep waiting. Unless I can hit the mastermind. Okay, turn 21 is another bystander who goes to zombie Mr. Sinister. Um, which is funny. Because normally Sinister powers up when he's got a bystander, but not zombie Sinister. Sidekick. One. Two. All right. Let's go. Leaping Spider. Top card of my deck. Cost two or less, so I draw it. Spider-Man unmasked. First one just gains me a sidekick. The second one gains me a sidekick on top of my deck. I get one attack for the first one. Another attack for the second one. I gain a sidekick to the top of my deck, and it is standard. Bold Leadership gives me one, two, three recruit. Four, five, six, seven total recruit. Now, think about this. If I take Secret Avengers Assemble, I get plus one attack for each sidekick and other Avengers here I played this turn. That is really good with what I've taken over here with Cap and Peter Parker and the sidekicks. I have enough sidekicks now that I have draw power if I get stuck on a two cost thing. So I'm actually going to break the two cost rule, take Secret Avengers, because this could really ramp up into a whopping amount of attack. So let me go ahead and take it for five now that i have so many avengers and sidekicks all right and i get another two cost rather than mutants for two. Oh, marvel team up is what i want as well but i can't get there yet sandman by the way is down to four i don't know what he's posing about yeah the sidekicks will be enough to get around that one non non two cost card i think as long as i don't overdo it do little things like that turn 22 is sentinel squad they're gonna clone do i have it on the bottom i do yep a clone so i could get this turn one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i should probably hit the mastermind while i can i don't need to teleport for him so let's do that i could play boomer but she again she is too good to get rid of so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, time bomb her again. Put her on the top. Get plus one attack. Two, three, four attack. Five, six, seven attack. Oh, no. I'm going to play my soldier. That puts me up to eight. That's enough to hit the mastermind for eight. All right. Mysterio's got a million tactics, so let's shuffle them up and figure out if I'm getting a Mysterio tactic, a Bastion tactic, or the one Master Strike that's in there. It is... A bastion tactic so here's what happens fight rescue three bystanders ko one of your heroes machine man ascends to become an additional master his only ability is master strike each player reveals a tech hero or gains a wound okay so let's do it in order rescue three bystanders one two three hey legendary game designer is here i get a shard didn't expect to see shards in this setup, but I say that every time he shows up. All right, and uh, I got um, two standard ones as well. I will KO this operative I didn't even play yet. And then he ascends to become a mastermind. So we'll put him here. We're probably going to have to zoom out at some point, but we'll avoid it for a little bit longer. Um, I could play Travel Through Limbo for three more attack, take out a Sentinel Squad, or I could teleport it. I'm going to teleport it. Because I have Boom Boom on the top of the deck. So, Alright, teleported. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, moving over. Turn 23... Board Gamer Bystander goes right to this Sentinel Squad. Guy got sidekicks. 
Let's play sidekicks. Playing the sidekick. Draw two. One, two. Ms. Lion. Rescue a bystander. Standard. Draw a card. She goes away. Let's keep going. Um, I'll play the other side. Oh, actually, no. Yes, I'll play the other sidekick. Other standard. One, two. Let's keep drawing. Let's keep drawing cards. One more sidekick. One, two. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play Layla Miller. I'm going to pick. Should I pick Avengers or X Men? Avengers. Top two card of the deck. Uh, X Men, I should have said. I got Rock Slide there. Um, I will leave Rock Slide on top. I'll tuck the trooper. She goes away. But. I did play. Um, Conflicted, I did play attack, so Conflicted Loyalties, one attack, one recruit, top card of my deck is Rock Slide, two cost, so I draw it. Now I play Darwin after Conflicted Loyalties, so I get both two attack and two recruit. Yep. I've got uh, tech, instinct, covert, ranged. I don't have any ranged. I don't, I don't have any ranged at all, so let me play Bold Leadership. For four recruit for the four classes, I'm at seven recruit. Rally the new mutants is going to give me two, four sidekicks. So one, two, three, four. I gain all four of these. Rock slide, sidekick, sidekick, Zabu are all gained. Five, six attack. Spider Man unmasked. I get one more attack. I gain a sidekick to the top of my deck thanks to Darwin. So Lockjaw goes top of my deck. Okay, and if only I had played that cap card, I could get a big, uh, big, uh, so if I have Rock Slide, I could shatter Zombie Sinister, put him down to four, although I could just hit him for seven right now and save Rock Slide for later. Plus, he has a bias data. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's hold off on Rock Slide. Let's save him for a second. Let's fight Zombie Mr. Sinister before he does anything bad. I will put the bystander and Victor Pile on top of him so he cannot rise. And then I will start taking two costs until I can't do it anymore. Two cost, Marvel team up. Ooh, this is the one. This is the one. This is going to win the game for me. Read this. Hero from another dimension. You get plus two attack for each other card you have played this turn that costs one or two. So, by the way, if I had played that this turn, I would have gotten one, two, three, four, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, plus the side, it's 14, 16, 18. Oh boy, this is a huge pickup. And uh, I'm going to stop there. I'll get a sidekick. I'll recruit a sidekick. Hairball. So Darwin's gone, by the way. I played him. Everybody else stays. All right. It is all centering around that uh, rare Ultimate Spider Man card now. Now I got to get rid of everything except for cards that can draw and that one. And then I can win this. One, two, three, four, five. Six. No matter how many masterminds there are, I can just hit them all. If I have a lot of attack. There's no weird fight restrictions with these ones. Turn 24 is another Sentinel Squad that does not clone. Again, if I do the boom boom trick, I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attack. Let's do it. Once again. I'll show you this. I haven't shown you in a while. So I'm picking the first effect. Time bomb. You get plus one attack and put this on top of your deck. I will do so. Plus one attack. Put her on top of the deck. Travel through Lembo. Two, three, four. Five, six from the soldiers. Secret Avengers. Assemble. Seven, eight for base. I played one sidekick. So nine attack. And two recruit. So let's go ahead and fight Sentinel Squad once. Fight the first one with the uh, bystander. This one's just defeated. I don't know why I'm showing you. Nothing happens if there's any others in the city. Um, we've got Board Gamer. The player, each player with the most victory points draws a card. I gotta count. Okay, left side. Okay, I know the number. And then right hand side, I think it's gonna be more on the right. Yeah, it's more on the right. Right. Uh, so my, my turn currently right now draws a card. And it's boom boom again. So I could, I could play here, which I will. I'll put it on top of the deck again. I'm up to 8 attack. Did I reduce my attack for fighting the Sentinel Squad? I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
and I went down to seven, and I went back up to eight. Yep. Okay. So let's take another Sentinel squad for two. Down to six. Take another Sentinel squad. This one gives me a KO. I could hit, could hit the Mastermind, but I'm, I'm clearing the city. Go to the bottom. And then Sandman, because I'm trying to get rid of Sandman. He's only two attack right now, so I take him out for two. Oh, wait, the Sentinel squad. Did I put it on the bottom, or did I take it by accident? Uh, let me check. Yep, I put it on the bottom. I only have one. I have two in my victory pack, because there were three of them. Okay. Is that right? I have two recruit left? Yeah. I'll get a sidekick. Lockjaw. One. And a shuffle. Things are going okay. I should probably hit Machine Man before I have to suffer a wound. So now I'm focusing on that. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm glad I got so many travel through Limbo's. Great combo with Boom Boom there. And she started in my deck thanks to the special rules. And I'm very happy. I got the shard too I can use. Turn 25 is Chameleon. Who copies the effects of the hero in the HQ space under him. Including his recruit and attack when I fight him. That is exactly what it is. So that you can you can give Remington Chase your compliments when he shows up, if he shows up. But yes, he had to go record a podcast. So maybe he'll be back. Look at me! I almost have all the all the hero classes. Um, I'll play bold leadership now. It'll give me four recruit for one, two, three, four hero classes. I'm gonna phase lockjaw just to see what happens, and then it's a, it's a trooper. So. Two attack. One attack, one recruit. One more recruit from the agent. And then Spider-Man Amassed gives me one attack and a sidekick. Standard. I might actually run out of sidekicks the way this is going. We'll see. Okay, yeah, I can't fight Chameleon. Uh, I got six recruit, but again, I do not want to take anything else. I'm doing okay the way I am. I'll get a sidekick, though. I can recruit one. It's another boom boom. All right, that's a good one for this side. Oh wait, didn't I? You no, that, that was a different Layla Miller. I got a second one because there's one in the pile right on top. So sometimes it's hard to keep track. Turn twenty six is Zombie Modok. All right, any zombies? No, Bias Skinner on the left, Salmon on the right. So nobody rises. Uh, fight KO one of your heroes with a recruit icon. I love how it says mental organism designed only for KOing. In the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes cartoon, he is designed only for conquest, which is not what it is, but I get it. I get why they had to do it. Uh, so I can get myself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attack to hit. Well, you know what? I'm just going to hit Machine Man instead of Mysterio so he doesn't uh, strike. So time bomb again. I'm time bombing every turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's hit the machine man sentinel tactic. Um, it just gets defeated, right? Took him out. I got uh, three recruit left. So I guess I'll take the divided card. It's all I can afford, but I got to keep the HQ moving. And refill with Dimensional Portal. Teleport. Ooh, this is a good one. For each sidekick you played this turn, you get plus one attack. Also one I wouldn't mind taking on the Spidey side. Because this, this deck seems to be doing something completely different. Turn 27. Predator X. So it's going to come in. It's going to prey on the most range. You got Lockjaw here on the left and the right-hand side somehow is matched. So I'm going to pray on the opposite side. And then it clones. So. Alright. There we go. Do I get lucky? Nope. It's a twist. There it is. First one. That one comes in. Running any cards in the villain deck though. I gotta not be cocky. I gotta keep hitting Mysterio. Hopefully before all the strikes happen. 
So this Predator Drax comes in. This one preys on the most tech. I have one tech on the left. I have no... Yeah, one tech on the right. I get to pick. I'll put them both on the right-hand side. Just to give myself a little bit more breathing room. Okay. Let's do another Layla Miller. And this time we'll pick Avengers again because I definitely have more. Uh, top two. Sidekick. Oh, Zabu counts. Yep. And uh, I put the sidekick on top. Now, I got to keep track of how many sidekicks I've played because I might get the cap card that cares about that. So I played one sidekick. We'll phase lock jaw to get that sidekick. And then we will play the sidekick for two more. We'll draw lock jaw again and a shield agent. Let's play Zabu. KO a card from your hand or discard pile. I'm going to KO the shield agent from my discard pile. That's the second sidekick I've played. Uh, that's the third one. I've played a gray one. All right. Third. Um, I'm going to just phase for good luck because I could get something good. Let's phase again. And it is an agent. I didn't get anything good. Um, oh, I should have phased after I'd sidekicked. Oh, gosh. I could, there's a better combo here. I should have done this first. I should, well, I guess I revealed the top two when I investigated, so I could still do it, but I'm not going to. Um, I should have done this, put the sidekick on top, and then phased for it. But anyway, it's fine. Spider-Man amassed. I forgot that I had the trigger from Zabu. Gain a sidekick. Oh, it would have been a standard, too. That would have been great. And he goes on top of my deck, thanks to Zabu. Rally the New Mutants. I didn't play a Covert, so I just gained one sidekick. Rusty Collins. Oh, Wow. I can't even hit the things. Okay. One, two, three, recruit. And I could shatter a villain. I could shatter Predator Rex down to two, and I still couldn't hit it. So, that's fine. Um, I will end my turn with, again, I was going to take Dimensional Portal, but I'll get a sidekick. I have to flip the stack over now because I ran out. Okay. I'm going to recruit a sidekick. I gained two already this turn. And get Red Wing. And that is the turn without playing Rock Slide. So hopefully I can take out those Predator Racks next turn. Don't have a lot to work with. Turn 28 is another Sentinel squad, which are going to clone once again. I think a Predator Rex came in, so this may not be a Sentinel. Yep, it's Zombie Thanos. Ooh, look at all those stri strikes that keep getting tucked. Another one. I gotta watch out for that. Okay, here we are. Let's keep going. All right, can I get enough attack to take out both of these uh, Predator X? I think I can. I will time bomb boom boom again. That's one attack. Actually, I can only get five if I if I don't get rid of boom boom this turn. Gosh, it's still worth it's still worth not doing that. I'll play Secret Avengers, two, three. I get one more attack. Four. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, no, I have the soldiers. What am I talking about? Five, six. That's enough. All right, I'll hit both, uh, both Predator Rex that are about to prey on me. So first one's gone for three. Second one's gone for another three. And I got two recruit left for another sidekick. Surprise, surprise. Prodigy. That could be useful. One, two, three, four, five. And one more. Six. Okay. Turn 29 is... Hobgoblin, Ambush. Each Sinister Six villain captures a bystander. So that is Chameleon and Hobgoblin. So Hobgoblin gets one. He gets the Engineer. Got a full city, which is scaring me, with Zombie Modok being right there. Although he doesn't have a become a Mastermind effect. This should be a good turn, though. Let's start with Marvel Team Up. Although I can make sure that happens if I phase Lockjaw. Let's phase Lockjaw again. Into Conflicted Loyalties. All right. Let's Marvel team up, gain a sidekick, Throg, and I reveal Lockjaw. Cost two or less, so I draw it. 
Let's play the standard sidekick now. One, two. Another standard sidekick is played. One, two. All right. I've played two sidekicks over there, so this is going to be great. This is going to be good. Um, bold leadership is going to give me I got covert, strength, instinct, tech, and range. I got all five classes, finally. So I get five recruit there. I've got Riley and Mutants. It's going to give me two sidekicks now. So first I get Skids. Second I get... Whoop, let's knock things over. I get Ms. Lion. I will play another Riley and New Mutants. I get two more sidekicks. I get Skids again. And I get uh, Standard Sidekick. All right, so if, I, if I play Lockjaw, I don't have any attack right now. If I play Lockjaw, I will get... Actually... If I play Lockjaw, I will get two attack, four attack, and then... If I play Complete the Loyalties first, I would actually get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then for the two psychics I played, nine, ten attack. I'm willing to give up Lockjaw for that. Let's play Lockjaw for two. Up to two. We'll play Conflicted Loyalties. For one and one. Unactivated. Um, I will play a Shield Trooper. I'm at four. I'll play the Shield Agent. I'm at seven. I play Secret Avengers Assemble. Okay, I've played... I get two attack. I'm at six. I've played two Avengers Heroes. One, uh, three, three Avengers Heroes. One, two, three. Up to nine. I've played two sidekicks because the two standard ones I played earlier. I'm up to 11. All right. So what can I do about this city? I can take out Zombie Modok and Chameleon. I can take out uh, Hob uh, Hobgoblin and and Chameleon. I should probably fight Modok and cover him up. So also he's got uh, KO, one of your heroes with a recruit icon. So I'm going to go ahead and fight Modok for five. Take him out. And KO the shield agent. And I get, oh, I get to copy pieces on a chessboard. That's kind of kind of fun. Plus his attack. So let's fight Chameleon for six. Copy the effects of the hero and the HQ under him, including his recruit and attack. So I get three attack from Maximus in a second. I take out uh, Chameleon. I rescue the engineer. Top card of my deck. Actually, there's an order of operations here. Do I have any henchmen in my victory pile? I do. There's no point in putting them in there, though, because um, only if there was no others. So I will... Oh, do I get to draw a card? That's not worth it. I'll just get the three attack. So I'll top part of my deck. Top of my deck costs zero. I KO it, but I don't get to KO it. And I'll use my other three to fight this one Sentinel Squad one. Or two of my three. Okay, seven recruit. I said I was going to take Dimensional Portal because this could ramp up in a big way for all these psychics I'm playing. So I will take Dimensional Portal. Hopefully it doesn't get in the way of the spider stuff. And I'll actually recruit a psychic as well. Lockheed. Here we are. Two, three, four, five, six. Moving over. Okay. Here we go. Turn 30 is Shocker. Ambush. Each player fills an instinct hero or discards a card. Um, I don't have any instinct on the right. Left side. Well, I can, I can do it here. Left side doesn't discard a card. Right side is going to discard something. It's going to be the soldier, obviously. All right. Um, wait, did I put Lockjaw back? That was the other side Lockjaw. Yeah, the other side Lockjaw I put back. It's confusing to figure out which which is which. But check it out. I can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13 attack if I do this. If I play Lockjaw. I could get more if I use Boom Boom, but she's too valuable. So, 
Um, I pl uh, play her time bomb. One attack. I play Lockjaw. Two more attack. That's three. Limbo. Four, five, six. Another travel through Limbo. Of uh, seven, eight, nine. And cap here up to 11 plus... Um, one for Boom Boom, one for Lockjaw, and a second for Lockjaw because he's an Avenger. I think that's correct. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, that's correct. Let's hit Mysterio once for 8. Okay. Top tactic after the shuffle, because I already shuffled them up, is... Oh, it's a Mysterio tactic. Didn't expect that. You get plus one recruit for each, each mastermind tactic Mysterio has left after this one. Wow. That's going to be good. He's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven recruit left, or seven tactics left. <laughs> that gets me Maximus is rare, just like that. That's so cool. Goodbye. So check it out. I get seven recruit. So let's do it. Um, Inhuman Mastery. Defeat Henchman for free. Done. Thanks, Mysterio. I've got six attack left. I'll take out one of these five costs. It's going to be Hobgoblin because he's got a bystander. Take him out for five, no fight effect. And Computer Hacker, I get to draw an extra card at the end of my turn. Lockjaw goes away because I used him. Oh, I guess I could spend this shard and take out the Sentinel Squad too, but I have nothing I want to KO, so I won't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kind of a race against the clock. I forgot that. I'm on, I'm on a timer scheme. I was sitting pretty here. Oh, I got Hero from another dimension. I got a couple of draws. I wish I had more, but it'll still be something. Turn 31, Sentinel Squad that does not clone. So, let's see what I can draw. Come on, come on. Oh, it's going pretty well. If you check the chat, if you can see it, Arlie has gave you some props with this setup. Yeah, right there. It's going okay. I've got um, a... I got a I got a two cost Spidey deck thing going on the left, right hand side. I just so Mysterio's got seven tactics, even though I hit him two times. I just got the tactic that gives me one recruit for each tactic he has left. So he gave me seven recruit enough to get Maximus's rare after I hit him, which was cool. So it's going okay. Starting with Hairball, one attack, reshuffle, draw a card. Let me track cards that cost one or two that I've played this turn. Uh, okay, I draw into Conflicted Loyalties. All right, Hairball goes away. Any tech to play? I don't, but let's go ahead and try Leaping Spider. I do have Rock Slide. You know what? I'm going to... You did. You made a ton of combos. Let's play Rock Slide just for the strength. We're going to go ahead and uh, Shatter Shocker. That's another sidekick played. That is a strength played. And Shocker goes down to two. Nope, he goes down to three. Okay. Let's go with Leaping Spider. Top card of my deck. Cost two less draw. I get two attack. I've almost depleted the sidekick stack, I think. Thanks to playing Rock Slide. Let's play Bold Leadership now. I've got all classes except for Rain. So that's Strength, Covert, Instinct, Tech. So I get four Recruit. Some very fun combos in this, for sure. Uh, rather than New Mutants, I gain two sidekicks. They are Throg and Lockheed. Buddies. Don't have an instinct. I didn't play attack. So I'll play Conflicted Loyalties for one attack, one recruit. I'll play Spider-Man and Mask for one attack. And I gain a sidekick. It is Hairball. And now I'm going to play Hero from another dimension. Which gives me plus two attack for each other card I played this turn that cost one or two. So I've played two sidekicks. That's one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven attack. Seven times, two. So 14 attack. That's pretty good. 12. 12 attack. Wait, that's not right. What was I at? One, two, three, four, five. I, I got plus 14. So I forgot what I had. I got and 15, 16, 18. I should be 18 right now. Because I didn't hit anything. Let me just double check. Yep. Uh, or Hairball gives me 19. So I played Hairball and Rock Slide. So I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
And then hero for another dimension. Uh, yeah, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19. That's correct. Have I gotten any other masterminds? Um, no, uh, no, no other masterminds yet. Um, I haven't gotten that far. I've only played four twists. I haven't let any dead lands escape. Oh, no, that's not true. I got one Bastion Tactic mastermind, but I took him out quickly. But just the one. I got 19 attacks. So now let's go to town. We're probably going to get some more right now. Let's go ahead and hit Mysterio once for eight. See what we get. It's already shuffled up. Top one is. There's another one. I did. So I'm at, I'm at 19. I redid the whole thing. It wasn't 19. Um... Here we go. Fight, rescue three bystanders. Here we go. Two standard and a triage nurse. I'll take care of that in a second. Oh, I have been. And that's usually... That dictates dictate how a legendary game goes. Okay, one of your heroes. That's the downside. Who am I going to lose from all these? Um, probably conflicted loyalties. Although, you know what? I don't need to rally the new mutants anymore. I got plenty of sidekicks, so... Although, you know what? I also don't need bold leadership, so I'm going to get rid of bold leadership. I got enough of those. Okay, and then he's got a four attack. Oh, by the way, um, it's fun because Bastion, Epic Bastion, whoop, he doesn't provide his plus one buff because he's not a mastermind. He's a drain. He's not in play. Only his tactics and his uh, three master strikes are. Um, he's a four attack. Okay, so I can't hit both Master Mold and Mysterio again. If I if I fight the Master Mold though, if I don't fight him and the Master Strike comes up and I have only seen one, it could be pretty bad. You know what? I don't care. Let's go ahead and hit Mysterio again for eight. That's the name of the game, right? Before the before the strikes happen. And it is uh, Nimrod. Fight, rescue, three bystanders. KO. Oh, I forgot. He's going to KO more heroes. That's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. Uh, rescue, three bystanders. Oh, I didn't do the triage nurse yet. Okay, here we go. Triage nurse is... Hold on. I got to back up. Before I do that, triage nurse happens first. Look at the top three cards of your deck. KO one, discard one, and put one back. So that happens before I hit him the second time. KO, discard, put back. I mean, I'm going to KO Throg. I'm going to discard Lockheed and put... Secret Avengers, Secret Avengers Assemble back. All right. Okay, now I hit Nimrod. Now I rescue these three bystanders. And he becomes a six attack mastermind. Okay, now we got to zoom out. Now that I got three masterminds here. I was waiting for that to happen. All right, I get the news reporter. When you rescue this, draw a card. That's perfect. That's really good for right now. Uh, I got a standard bystander. And I got Rockstar. When you rescue this bystander, rescue another one. I think I have to agree with you on that. Maybe Silk is close, but um, I got Warlock. Okay. Now I'll play Secret Avengers Assemble. Check it out. I get two attack for each sidekick and other Avengers here you played this turn. So, I get two base. I've played two sidekicks. By the way, they were Rockslide and Hairball. So, I get two for the sidekicks I played. And then Avengers. Hairball's one. Peter's another. This other Peter's a third. So all of a sudden, I'm still up to 10 attack after that card draw. So I can, that's enough to take out both extra masterminds. So let's go ahead and uh, spend all 10. Six first, then four. Goodbye, both of these Sentinels all for 10. They're out of here. Okay. Um, I will get a, another Rally of the New Mutants just for fun. Just for fun. I can zoom back in. Oh, there we go. Reluctant Celebrity. Another rare Spidey. Two attack and then instinct to get a plus one attack for each extra card you draw on this turn. Um, I also had another cap. Did I miss something? Okay. The one you KO'd. Oh, yes. You're right. I forgot that I played it and KO'd it. So I should be at plus one attack right now, but it's fine. I wasn't going to use it. Yep, I, it, I KO'd it. I totally forgot about it, but you're right. You are correct. 
A lot to keep track of with this turn. All right. Let's see if I can beat Mysterio before he plays all his Master Strikes and just keeps on living. <clears throat> turn 32. A twist. All right. That is twist number five, and nothing happens until twist number six, so that just is a counter going down. Oh, by the way, Remington, I the the uh, the sidekick that started in my right hand's deck was Boom Boom, and I was able to get three Travel Through Limbos, and so I've been time bombing her the entire time just to trigger Travel Through Limbo. So I've been having great success doing that, and I might just do it again. Um, let me peek at this divided card. Probably one of the weaker hands I've had in a while. So I could get two attack, which would give me if I did time bomb. That's two, three, four, five, six. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's not something to to forget. But for this for this scenario, it didn't really matter. Oh, it was great. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, Shocker's not reduced anymore. That was last time. Only seven. Well, that's enough to hit Shocker in a Sentinel squad. So let's do it. Um, Inspire Man Battlestar, two. Boom Boom's Time Bomb, three. Travel Through Time up to six. Soldier is seven. Um, so let's go ahead and take out Shocker for five. And the, the Sentinel Squad on the rooftops for two. They do nothing. And two, three, four. I can't say it's been one because they've all worked together so well, but... The right side magic has been a powerhouse because I got three of her travel through limbos. Even if I didn't have boom boom, I could keep teleporting them, and that's three, six, seven attack on a turn when you want to unleash it. So that's magic is a great hero set. Now, what could I take for four? I could take Enslave the Will whenever you defeat a villain this turn, you get a sidekick, but I don't really care about that. Defeat a henchman villain for free. I just need raw attack, so I'm gonna go with um another divided. Maybe get sidekicks or more attack. And there we go, Marvel team up. More two costs. Alright. I guess I could have teleported, but I didn't need to. Okay, turn 33. We got Reverend William Stryker showing up. Ambush. Prey on the most mutants. He captures one sidekick from the sidekick stack and two sidekicks from that player's hand and or discard pile of their choice. So, I've got two X-Men on the left. I've got two X-Men on the right. So I'm going to give him a turn to sit around. He's going to go ahead and pray on the right-hand side. He captures one sidekick from the sidekick stack that's going to... Oh, sidekick side, not bystander. It's going to be standard sidekick and two from that player's hand and or discard pile of their choice. Oh, cool. Um, there's no sidekicks in the player's discard pile in the player's hand. Oh, it's Prodigy. All right, he captures Prodigy and Boom Boom, so I better be able to fight him next turn because I'm going to lose her. I won't be able to. I'm only going to get three attack. Okay, so should I change where I'm having him pray? So if I do this, he's going to capture Prodigy and Boom Boom. I won't be able to fight him for five. And then he'll KO them. So I'm not going to do that at all. I'm going to have to pray on myself. Even though I might fail as well. Okay. Okay. So he's capturing the standard no matter what. So left side is discard or yeah, discard pile. You know, I'm gonna give him Lockheed and Hairball for my discard pile. And maybe I'll be able to take him out. So he's preying on me over there or over there for five. Okay. Okay, I'm only gonna get uh one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's harder with this one for sure. I'm not going to be able to fight him either, so I'm going to lose those. But I'll just have to give those up. Um, yeah. One attack, two attack. It's okay. I've been doing well. I can take the hit. Uh, one sidekick. I I'm going to gain a bunch of sidekicks right now. So I gain a standard one for Rally New Mutants. And the second one gives me two more, which is Zabu and Rusty. Lockheed gives me two more attack. Throg, I'm going to play him. Um, he gives me two recruit and nothing else. They both go away. And I can't fight Striker, which is fine. I'll take out uh, Sentinel Squad 1. 
which is going to let me KO one of my heroes. I'm going to KO the Shield Trooper. And Sentinel Squad goes back to the bottom. And I'll gain Marvel Team Up or recruit Marvel Team Up for two. And that's the end of my turn. And now I'm not, I can't remember if Prey happens before or after I draw my new hand of cards. I don't know why I'm forgetting that. I don't think it, it matters right here because he's just going to KO them going to the city. Um, so, um, yep. I think it's after I draw my new hand of cards. So anyway, he KOs all these sidekicks, which is sad. He goes into the city. Better than doing that on the other side, though, for sure. Okay, cool. I drew a uh, dimensional portal, which could be really good. I believe after two, yeah. Technically, that's the end of my turn. Uh, turn 34. Zombie Mysterio showing up with his uh, non-zombie self. Ambush Rise of the Living Dead, which, again, I've avoided. Uh, escape, shuffle this into... It, it becomes an extra Mysterio tactic, so we don't want that to happen. All right, so I can, if I play a copy of Prodigy, or play a copy of Magic with Prodigy, I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attack, hit Mysterio again. Let's do that. Let's play Boom Boom as Time Bomb once again, of course. Top of the deck. One attack. Travel through Limbo. Up to four attack. Prodigy is going to be played as a copy of Magic. Up to seven. After I play the second, travel through Limbo. Prodigy goes away. Eight, nine. Let's hit the Mastermind for eight. It is an actual Mysterio tactic. Master of Illusion. Here we go. Oh, actually, this, this is fine. If this is not a final ta the final tactic, shuffle in Master Strike tactic from each other player's victory pilot to the Mysterious Mastermind tactics. I haven't hit one. He's only gotten one, and I haven't found it yet. So this whiffs completely. I got really lucky on that one, too. And uh, one recruit doesn't do anything. I have a shard, but again, that doesn't do anything. All right, I got to hit him five more times. Let's see if I can do that before he loses or gains too many other tactics. Okay, I got the rare Maximus. Oh, and I got the other Maximus that can activate it, too. Turn 35. There we go. <laughs> so now he gets a second one. Luckily, no other Masterminds are out. Let's increase that number to 11. Now I got to hit him a total of 11 times. At least I've already got five hits. Shuffled in. Okay, let's see if I get lucky here. Starting with uh, Marvel Team Up. Gain a sidekick. Here we are. Top card of my deck. Yep, it's Boom Boom. Did I know she was there? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. So here's what I could do. Right now I'll play Bold Leadership, which will give me Covert, Strength, Instinct, Ranged, for Recruit. I could time bomb boom boom again. That'll give me one attack, two, three, four, and then maybe five if I shatter with rock slide. That's five. That's not worth it. Um, I'm gonna teleport dimensional portal. By the way, dimensional portal. Yeah, I mean, I've been hitting them hard as soon as they came up, but I got luck. Well, I kind of got lucky, but also I was able to um, be smart about when I hit the deadlands. So. Um, I know it's always a little disappointing when the setup is not overwhelming the player if you've designed it. I, I know that feeling sometimes, but also it's enjoyable to see how it's uh, it can be conquered. Three psychic can play this turn and get plus one. This is definitely a teleport time. Oh. Okay, she teleported out there. Now she's over here. All right, she teleported. Boom Boom's going to do her thing. No, I don't want to teleport. Uh, I'm just not going to play Boom Boom at all over here. I'm going to get two more recruit for six and not use it and get a sidekick, actually, with two. And end my turn there. Let's see what I get. I want more psychics in hand for dimensional portal. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's more like it. That's going to be a good turn. And the music is getting intense, so I'm worried about a twist coming up next because that's how things work. Turn 36. Of course that's how things work. Never, never, um, the playlist never lets me down. 
All right, this is twist number six. The Mastermind uses this twist to copy the Master Strike ability of the Drained Mastermind. So we have to look at Epic Bastion's Master Strike effect. A card from the Bystander stack becomes ascends to become a four attack Prime Sentinel Mastermind with Fight. Rescue this, Master Strike. Each player reveals the top card of their deck and KOs it if it costs one or more. Those would be good tokens. Um, so it's four attack, Prime Sentinel, with Fight, Rescue this, Master Strike. Each player reveals the top card. Yep. Nope, I don't want to do that. So better take this out right now. Luckily, Bastion's not here to give him the buff. So check it out. Inhuman Mastery here is each other player reveals a tech hero or chooses a henchman. You defeat all those henchmen for free. And then Cabal, you get plus one for each henchman you defeated this turn. Let's play Mental Domination first. Then we'll play Inhuman Mastery for attack. Um, I'm not going to reveal the tech. Oh, actually, you know what's funny? Watch this. Watch this interaction. Note how there's no henchmen in the city. I'm going to speed up the game here. Because I choose a Sentinel Squad, one from the left-hand side. I defeat it for free. And their effect is, if there are no other Sentinel Squad ones in the city, KO one of your heroes and put this villain on the bottom of the hero deck. So that's what's going to happen. So I'll play a soldier before I do anything else. Um, so I can KO it. All right, so I KO one of my heroes. And the Sentinel Squad 1 goes from the left-hand side's victory pile to the bottom of the villain deck. That's fun. And I get plus one attack for each one I defeat it. So I'm at six total attack now. <laughs> That's a pretty cool interaction. I just put it back into the game. Fun. All right. Hydra Soldier 7. I will boom boom to the top for eight total. Um, but I... The smart thing to do would be to take out the Mastermind. And then I can hit more stuff. Let's play Battlestar. Two more attack. Oh, yeah. That, I live for that. All right. So we're going to spend four attack. No, let's do it in the smart order. We're going to go ahead and fight Zombie Mysterio for six. It doesn't have fight draw two cards unless it's a tactic. But right now it's just gone for six. And I don't want it to come back. So I'm going to spend the last four to fight this... Um, the Sentinel Mastermind that became a four attack Mastermind that had the only effect was fight rescue this. Yep, and I covered up Mysterio. And I got two recruit left for a sidekick. This is a very, very Rube Goldberg of a, of a setup and I'm loving it. There we go, look at that. I got one, three, nope, one, four, seven, eight, ten, maybe. And this one, I got a little bit of a ramp. 37, Master Strike. <laughs> so again, we're going to shuffle that into Mysterio's tactics. So now I got to hit him 12 total times. One step forward, one step back a little bit. Okay. Shuffled up. Let's see what I can get this turn. So um, I'm going to start with my sidekick, my standard sidekick. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's working. It's great. I'm going to count the number of sidekicks I played this turn. So I play the standard sidekick. And uh, I draw two. One, two. Oh, man. What a dead end. That's awful. I'm not going to get any wounds, so I could just do this. I could go... One, two... And then I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attack. That's enough to hit the mastermind. That's that's worth it. All right, we're gonna play both skids because I'm not really getting a lot of wounds. Six recruit. They go back. I've played three sidekicks this turn. That's two, and I get one, two, three, four. I'm at five. Conflicted loyalties. One recruit, one attack, I'm up to six attack. One trooper, seven attack. And Spider-Man Unmasked is going to be one more attack. Gain a sidekick. It's a red wing. And now I have eight attacks, so you know what we do with eight attack. 
It is an actual Mysterio tactic. Captive audience, rescue a bystander for each mastermind tactic Mysterio has left after this one. And that is going to be five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so five bystanders are rescued. Thanks, Mysterio. Let's see what they are. First, I'll put the stack right here. First, I get um, Undercover Agent. Play every choice gains the Shield Officer. I'll give it to the right-hand side. Hey, it's Dum Dum Dugan. That's one bystander. Bystander number two is a standard. Bystander number three is the Bulldozer Driver, which is not the forklift driver. Uh, I can move villains around. I'll put Striker in the street in the sewers, I guess. Um, number four is the rock star. Get another bystander. And number five is a standard. Number six, because of the rock star, is the banker. I get plus two recruit to recruit stuff in the bank. Under the bank. But I'm not going to do that. Okay, I play bold leadership now. I've got ranged, covert, tech, instinct. I'm up to 11 recruit. And then I'm at 12. Yeah, I don't want to take anything from the HQ, so or, yeah, so I'm just gonna get a sidekick and call it a day. Standard sidekick. I have so many sidekicks, which is good. But I needed to teleport that one magic card to make that work. But I just shuffled her back in. Let's keep it going. We are entering, um, entering hour four of the stream very soon. Thanks for sticking around and watching. As it gets later, viewers drop off because people are going to sleep. <laughs> Which can't can't be mad at. But I'm happy that some of you guys are watching. Happy that anybody's here, really. It's crazy. Uh, oh, that is not what I meant. That's funny. Alright. Man, things just follow me, you know? Okay. Okay, well, happy to have you. Turn 38 Ugh, is the Predator X. Okay, there's only five of them, so this one's not going to clone. I'm pretty confident. Let me just confirm that I've gotten all four defeated. Um, yep, I got one. Other side is going to be... Uh, let's see, two, three, and the other one, four. Yep. This one's not going to clone, so I won't even mess with the villain deck. Okay, Ambush Grand, the most covert, though. Um, no covert here on the right-hand side. Left-hand side has one, so it's going to go ahead and pray on the left-hand side. All right, so if I do the Boom Boom thing again, I could do one Time Bomb. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And I'll just hit the Mastermind right now. This tactic is... The oh, I'm keep I keep getting his regular ones, Mist of Deception. If the, oh good oh great, if this is not the final tactic, reveal the top five cards of the villain deck. Play all the master strikes to be revealed. Put the rest on the bottom of the deck in random order. Hopefully, this I mean this is going to speed up the twist. But I, if I tuck a couple, that's fine too. Okay, top five cards of the villain deck. Let's see what they are. One, two, three, four, five. One strike is played. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, check it out. I tucked I tucked two twists and zombie Thanos. So that's pretty good. Those are good ones to tuck. So I'm gonna tuck those at a random order. Shuffle to the bottom. Not a lot of cards left in the villain deck though. And then of course the master strike happens, so yes, that would have been awful if more masterminds were around, but uh, luckily I've been able to take care of them. So that goes in the pile. Now there are 13 to take care of, 13 hits. Let's see how many more I can get. Um, I will play Inspire a Nation to gain a sidekick. Oh wait, no, hold on. Nah, I don't, I'm not gonna get three. I get a standard sidekick and Operative doesn't do it. I could have spent my shard to get rid of the Praying, but I'm not going to. Left side can handle itself. His combos of these magics are great. When I say I wanted to play magic cards, this is not what most people meant, but I'm having a great time. Okay, what do we have now on the top? Uh, oh, we got a twist anyway. All right. That is uh, twist number seven. So nothing's going to happen. We're waiting for twist eight. 
All right, this should be good if I can draw well. Let's start with Rusty. No, let's start with Red Wing, actually. Starting with Red Wing here. Top three cards of the deck. One, two, three. All right. Ooh, I do have Dimensional Portal. So I want to draw Dimensional Portal, put the rest back on top. All right. So now I got to keep track of how many sidekicks I played this turn. So I played one sidekick. Um, let's play my standard sidekick to draw the two magics. That's two sidekicks played. Oh yeah, I, I haven't seen that, but that would be amazing. Um, let's play Ms. Lion. Rescue a bystander. Oh no, let's play Rusty Collins. Might be able to investigate for better, better draw. Uh, one attack. Top two cards of the deck. No cards that cost zero. I'm actually gonna tuck Rye the New Mutants. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna put the uh, psychic on top. Yeah. That's three sidekicks played. I'm gonna play Ms. Lion. Um, rescue a bystander, which is a standard. Draw a card. I draw the standard sidekick. That is four bystanders played. I play the other standard sidekick. I say bystander, but sidekick. Five sidekicks played. I draw two more cards. One, two. Oh, my gosh. I have both of these cards. Just watch. My cup runneth over here. Um, okay. I'm going to play Spider-Man on Mast. Because I played Red Wing, I do activate it. So one more attack. Gain a sidekick to the top of my deck. It's a standard. Still being preyed upon. I'll play Bold Leadership. I'm not really going to need it. I got Covert ranged instinct right now so i get three recruit yeah <laughs> you did you did a great job i'll play both rather than new mutants to get two four sidekicks so here we go one two three four they are darwin standard standard Ms. lion they're all gained okay now i will play dimensional portal for each sidekick you played this turn, you get plus one attack. So I get two base. I played five sidekicks. By the way, they're all right here. I put them aside just so I can see. Ugh, okay. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Played five sidekicks. So I'm up to nine attack after this. Now I get to play a hero from another dimension, which gives me plus two for each other card I played that costs one or two. So that is the five sidekicks. Six, seven, eight, nine. So that's 18 more attack. That's amazing. So I am... I'm at 27 attack. So let me go ahead and get that out here. 27 attack. That's a lot of attack. Um, I'm going to start by taking out the... Uh, actually, the, the prey effect's not so bad. Let's just keep hitting Mysterio. All right. Let's hit him for eight. Let's keep going. See how far we can go. But I didn't do the math yet. 19. Here we go. It is a Master Strike tactic. So uh, I gain this. Let's uh, hit him again. Down to 11. It is another one. So I take this out. And uh, let's go ahead and hit him again. Three times in a row. And I can also hit that Praying Predator X too. All right. And that is a uh, Sentinel. So we got Template, Infected, Sentinel, Fight, Rescue 3 Bystanders, KO one of your heroes. He becomes a Mastermind who's got Master Strike. Each player reveals a Covert hero or discards one of their non-gray heroes. So let's do the Bystander Rescue. One, two, three. Ooh, two Standard and a Stan Lee is rescued. Do I know what's at the top of my deck? Oh, wait. I know that there's a... I put a Psychic on top. Say a hero name. Oh, I can say Sidekick, right? Because if the card doesn't have a printed hero name, its hero name is the same as its card name, right? So I could say sidekick and draw the sidekick. I'm pretty sure that's allowed. Because the shield agents say hero, their hero name and card name is shield agent. So on a si standard sidekick, the hero name and card name is sidekick. So I'm going to go with that because I think that's correct. So I'm going to say sidekick. Reveal the top three cards of my deck. 
because I recruited one to the top of my deck. So, yeah, there it is. So, I put the Psychic in my deck and put these back in any order. I'll put Leaping Spider first. So I'll draw them both. Cool. I got to KO one of my heroes for the Mastermind effect, though. So, I KO this uh, agent. And then he's out there for five. I have three left. Still being preyed on. I'll play the sidekick just in case. I've played six sidekicks. I draw two. Those are those two. Um, I will play... I could play Boom Boom and get four or five attack. But I also get plus two from Leaping Spider. So, because I did play one of the sidekicks I played with Strength, right? Oh, maybe not. I, you know what? I didn't play a single strength card in any of these cards that I just played. So, just to guarantee I can take that Sentinel out, we're going to first put Boom Boom on top with Time Bomb up to four. Now I'll play Leaping Spider to draw her again. And we'll put her on top again for one more attack. I'm at five, and I can hit the Infected Sentinel uh, right now. Uh, yes. Get out of here. And I will end my turn by recruiting a sidekick. Oh, no. I, I'm going to get preyed on, but it's okay. I recruit a sidekick. You can't pick the equivalent. I mean, you should be able to. DXP has a lot of things that don't go the way they're supposed to. Like, I've seen a couple of examples. But yes, yeah, sidekicks, starter cards have hero names. Uh, so I finish my turn. Um, and then I get preyed on. It's okay. Um, that player discards a covert hero. If they can't, they discard a non-great hero instead. So I discard Hairball. No big deal. It's fine. He goes into the city. Moving over. Okay. I got to hit three more times. At least before the next strike happens. Turn 40. Cloning Technician gets captured. Well, that's never happened before. I guess the Cloning Technician is getting captured by Predator X right there in the picture. Should have seen that coming. All right. If I sacrifice Boom Boom, can I finish the game here? That would be 4, 7, 10, 11. No, that wouldn't be enough. So let's just keep Boom Boom. One attack, time bomb. Four, seven. And then true soldier makes eight. Let's hit him again. Almost out of tactics. This is another master strike. I already took I took care of his regular ones. He's got one tactic left. Two recruit. Gets me a sidekick. So many sidekicks moving around. Okay, let's see if I can hit him twice before uh, the last strike happens. Or more twists happen, because those are going to make more masterminds, too. I did tuck two, uh, two twists, so we'll see. Okay. Only five because of Predator X, but uh, Zombie Venom. Walking down the street. Ambush Rise of the Living Dead. No, I covered him up, so we're good. I can't defeat him unless I have a covert hero. But I'm not even thinking about you because I'm trying to hit Mysterio. Okay. Let's do a sure thing. No, let's not do it. Let's take a risk. We're going to start with a Marvel team up. Gain a sidekick. Top card of my deck. Cost two or less. I draw it. Let's um, investigate. One attack. For card that costs zero. Mm, I didn't. I don't want to get Rock Slide. I don't have attack, so I'm going to tuck both of these, actually. Rusty goes away. I should keep track how many sidekicks I played. I played one. Now we'll play the standard sidekick. Second sidekick played. Draw two new cards. One, two. Ah, dead end. That's disappointing. So two, three, four, two recruit. I will leave Boom Boom where she is. And I'll just take our Predator X. All right. Take him out for three. And I get the Cloning Technician. Clone the next hero you recruit this turn. That's pretty cost of three or less. Let's do a sidekick. Let's recruit a sidekick and clone it. It's Zabu. So I clone Zabu from the stack. Where is he? I gotta pull the stack apart. Nope, that's Red Wing. What if he's not there? What if he's in a deck? Then I really made a mistake. 
It's very possible. Yeah, he's in a deck. I can't clone him at all. That's okay. And I won't play a Boom Boom. Left. Oh, did I play a sidekick that I should have gotten rid of? No, I got rid of everybody. Okay, we're good. Ooh, this is a turn. Look at that. Hey, there was Abu. He was coming up next. He was coming up next. Okay. Turn 42. Twist. So we're getting some more masterminds. That is twist number eight. I do the master strike of Epic Bastion. Even though I'm doing well, I'm cutting it close. So another mass, another bystander comes in. Becomes a four attack. It's a standard again. Prime Sentinel. All right, let's see what I can do. Boom, boom again. Time bomb. So that's one. Magic. Two, three, four. Battlestar. Five, six. Hydra Soldier. Seven. Secret Avengers Assemble. Eight, nine. One for the boom, boom I played. And one for the divided card. I played them up to 11. This time I am going to leave the Mastermind there. I'm just going to hit Mysterio. Let's hit him. For his last tactic. It is another fake one, as I thought. And with my last three, I can't... Oh, I got a shard. Hey, look. Hey, look. I... Remember this shard? I will cash it in right now. The one I got from uh, from the, the Devon Bystander. Perfect. Goodbye. I forgot about... I saved that for... I didn't know I was saving it for this at the time, but I did. All right, let's finish this game. Shall we? Turn 43. This game's gone on for a while. And this is my second game of the day. Let's finish strong. Turn 43. Cameron Hodge shows up. Ambush, prey on the most mutants. He captures one of that non players, non-great heroes of their choice. I've got all... I got one X-Men over here. He's going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, yeah, I got two X... X uh, one... Two mutants on the right. He's going to go ahead and capture one of my choice. Um, here, you can have Maximus's rare card. So he's captured Maximus's rare. Because I'm going to end the game this turn. Okay. I think. Was that premature? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, I might not. I get. Oh, I, I maybe I could. But maybe not. I don't know. I might not get enough. I might have messed myself up. All right. We'll play Zabu. Uh, KO a card from hand or discard pile. I might not get to eight this turn. Shield agent. That's one played just in case. Oh, actually, that's not true because I can I can guarantee get a psychic, put it on top, and then draw it with conflicted loyalties. All right. So let's um, one attack, gain a sidekick on the top of my deck. It is Red Wing. That's a good pickup. Goes on top of my deck. Now I have to play Conflicted Loyalties um, after Secret Avengers Assemble. So I'm going to do this in a weird order. Secret Avengers now. That's two more attack. Plus one attack for each Psychic and other Avengers here I played. Um, I played Zabu, which is one attack. I played Peter Parker, which is another attack. Yeah, I'm going to get it. All right. Oh, Zabu doesn't go over there. Cap does. Now Conflicted Loyalties. Um, one attack, one recruit. Top card of my deck is Red Wing. So I draw it because I just put it there. I will play Red Wing. See what I get to draw. Top three of my deck. One, two, three. I will... Ooh, I'll draw the sidekick. I'll put the other two back. That is the second sidekick played this turn. I'll play the standard sidekick. That is the third sidekick played this turn. I draw two. I play Red Wing again. Top three of my deck. One, two, three. Um, eh, it's fine. I take Spider-Man to mass, put the rest back. I'm not going to care about... Uh... How many extra cards did I draw this turn? I have drawn one, two, and then one with Red Wing, one with Red Wing, one with Loyalty. So I'm going to do a card draw tracker. I've drawn five cards this turn. Um, and Marvel team up now. Gain a sidekick. Top card of my deck. 
two or less draw it i draw it that's a sixth draw a lot of stuff to keep track of bold leadership gives me um instinct covert strength tech four recruit up to five recruit spider-man unmasked gain a sidekick put it on top of my deck and i get one attack right one two three four five six seven did i gain attack for spider-man yet I don't think I did. Should we hit seven? Um, now I play Rally the New Mutants to gain two sidekicks. One, two. And now I play a Reluctant Celebrity, which is going to give me two attack, plus one attack for each extra card I draw this drew this turn. I'm at 15, according to my calculations. I have seven attack to spare, so I'm going to um, spend my six of my seven attack to rescue the rare Maximus. Um, I will take out Cameron Hodge for six. And I'm at nine. And I will choose myself. I will gain Maximus. And I will go ahead and hit Mysterio for the end. And after all that, 13 hits on Mysterio. The game is over and it is a victory. Whew. Well, those who said win were the underdogs. Thank you for that setup, Remington Chase. You did write me something to read if I won. So let me go ahead and make sure that I cover that. This is, this is very important, actually. You celebrate by petting Lockjaw. What a good boy. He's the true hero of the story. Could not disagree. Could not agree more with that. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that setup. Uh, let me give the prediction rewards for anybody who had confidence in me. And stick around because we're going to get you more, some channel points by rating anybody who might be playing board games this late on a Friday, which is usually some people. All right, it was a win. I'll count my VP real quick because there's a lot of it. Um, so you can see how much I got quickly. Uh, Left-hand side, uh, 6, 10, 11, 13, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, how much are these worth? Oh, I totally forgot. They're worth 6. Okay, 28. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 47, 53, 59, 60, 61, 62, 3, 4, 5, 66, 68, 71, 72, 77, 78, 79, 80, 82, 83, 87 on the left. And then right hand side is, um, if you're talking about the, the, uh, the tournament, I did those four hours ago. Yes, they're all up there. So 1, 7, 13, 19, 20, 26, 32, 33, 36, 37, 40, uh, 46, 48, 50, 56, 50, uh, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 5, 6, 8, 70. No, wait. Am I say 60 or 70? Shoot. Minute 60. 62. 68, 69, 70, 71, 75, 78, 79. I think that's accurate. Whatever. You can you can check my work later. That is a ton of VP. Uh, and not a single escape happened this time around. Uh, thank you guys for watching this. And uh, if you're watching after the fact, thank you for watching on YouTube. I will be back Tuesday, 4 p.m. Pacific, with a the Falcon and Winter Soldier setup in the continuation of Phase 4's MCU setups. Let's go ahead and see who is playing some games. By the way, if you're in the tournament, you have until uh, end of day, Thursday Pacific, to uh, to do that. I don't see a lot of board games going on, so I'm just going to send you over to somebody. I forget... All right, that looks interesting. I like this game. All right, we're going to go head over to uh, Johnny Biscotti right now. Uh, I will see you guys later. Have a great rest of your weekend, or beginning of your weekend, actually. And uh, enjoy the uh, setups that you might be playing for the league and or the tournament. Take care, everybody.